All right, I guess I reached my video recording limit of 10 minutes on the previous video. I managed to get the cover back on the back. I have to reinstall the screws. I've got all the important pieces over here. Loaded up with copper circuit boards, wire, degaussing cable, crystal oscillators, this, that, and the other thing out of them, any really value to me. I'm going to put this cover back on, screw it back on, and roll this thing out to the curb. I'm sure somebody else will pick it up, take it home, only to find out I've already moved, removed all the important pieces. So I'm sure they'll be slightly ticked off, but that's not my problem. I just have to get it to the curb. Hopefully the garbage man will take it away. If not, I'll roll it back into the yard and smash it with a hammer. I like to smash things into little itty bitty bitty tiny pieces. And then put it all into little boxes, little cardboard boxes. They seem to have quite an exuberant collection of cardboard boxes from wine and fish boxes and chicken boxes. All the Indian things I collect at work. What is flying around here? I can't see anything flying around, so I try to make a video. Then all of a sudden they get dusted by a swarm of mosquitoes or whatever these things are. But I'm going to pause it for now. Hopefully in the next video you see you'll this thing be rolling down the stairs. Out of the house, down the stairs, down the driveway, to the curb. Stay tuned. I'm back. And so is my cat Ellie. Took me an extra minute. The releasing of the gas caused me some confusion. I almost lost my lunch. But then I found it. Cheers. The cover is back on. I only fixed it with four of the original screws. As screws are metal and I will scrap the screws. Every screw counts. Every little bit counts. And my mass of a fortune. Not so much for scrap metal, but for the copper that surrounds the metal. And that I showed you earlier. Which is still over there. And a pile in the living room. Don't worry, I have a vacuum. I worry worry about the cat. It seems to be in my way constantly. Wondering what I'm doing. Oh no, there's two cats. Oh no, that's a reflection. But anyway, not that it lost that much weight. Maybe five pounds of the components that I wanted. With the copper, the circuit boards, copper wires and such. But like I said, this thing was, should have never brought it home. Should have never brought it in the house, but I had help at the time. Thanks, Donald. My old buddy from way back when. Hope he's doing line. Holidays are coming. What's that? That is, that is, is a, what's the cap of a pen. Uh, who knows what you're going to find inside of these old TVs. And there go more bugs, amazingly. Flying through the invisible night. Crazy cat that wants to go outside the TV. But I can't let her go outside because she's not <coughs> fixed. Not that she was broken before. She seemed to pop out five perfectly good kittens. And yes, I did find homes for them. Thank you, friends. But, there's my front door. There's the TV. Hopefully I can squeeze it out the door the same way I squeezed it in. But, when I squeezed it in, I didn't have these monstrosities behind it, the door. Like a six-foot bookcase, a roll-top desk, a cat-scratching post, and a bamboo table. And the list goes on and on. Wonderful things I find, including the cat, which yes, was picked up on the side of the road and turned out to be one of the best cats I've ever had. Allie, now, now, show me those eyes, jeepers creepers, Ellie. She doesn't want to show us those eyes. Who cares? Back to the TV. Hope you all enjoyed it. That's all for now. Keep hoarding because taking this thing apart is 200 pounds of glass. The TV has caused me to be exhausted. Not that the gas really had anything to do with it. And I'm glad I have something to keep me hydrated. So, tomorrow's trash day. Out to the curb it goes. That's all for now. Keep hoarding. Oh, there are those eyes. That's all for now. Like I said, bye-bye.